Hi, I'm Dee Dee Fauntleroy, the proud principal of Northgate Elementary. I want to start this message off with love. I feel certain that every teacher and every staff member in every school community in Seattle Public Schools loves and misses their students, each and every one of them. We hope that you are all safe and healthy. We know that this is a challenging time. Please know that we are here for you and we're going to do everything we can to help children and families navigate this confusing time. On March 23rd, OSPI, the State Education Agency, provided revised guidance to all districts. They asked districts, school leaders, educators, and support staff to ensure continuous learning occurs throughout the school closures. In response to that ask, last Friday, the district provided educators with guidance regarding how they can meet those new expectations. I'm here to help you understand these guidelines so that you know what students and families can expect. To provide an example, I'm also going to share what this looks like in my school community. Please remember, each school community is unique and so approaches may vary. This is the continuity of learning document for elementary schools. Last Friday, this was provided to all elementary educators. You can find the elementary, middle, and high school guidance documents on the district COVID-19 webpage, which can also be accessed from your child's school website. This document outlines expectations for the number of lessons or activities provided each week, communication expectations, and expectations for coordinated support across multiple educators, including those providing specialized services for students on IEPs or with a 504 plan. For example, if your child is in fifth grade, you can expect to receive a communication about lessons or activities at least once a week from your child's classroom teacher. These lessons or activities may be provided online through paper-based packets, mailed to your home, or emailed. For example, my kindergarten team is collaborating to videotape at least two lessons a week that will be posted for students to access with a link. Since we cannot be together right now, communication is critical and family engagement has never been more important. We know that this can be both informative and overwhelming. You should expect communication from your child's school at least once a week. We will do our best to coordinate communication so you are not overwhelmed. At Northgate, we have designated classroom teachers as the point of contact so that we can check in with students and families and stay connected as a Northgate family. We are also aware of how school closures are particularly affecting our students receiving specialized services such as ELL, IEPs, or 504 plans. Be assured that educators are collaborating to figure out how best to serve your students' individual learning needs. At Northgate, our ELL special education teachers and counselors are meeting virtually with me, with each other, with classroom teachers, and with families whew, to provide the best services that we can. I hope this helps to provide you with some clarity about what is being done to provide continuous learning for every child for more information, please visit the district's COVID-19 website. It includes the continuity of learning documents I mentioned, as well as frequently asked questions. And now, I end this video the same way I began, with love. Now more than ever, it is important that we love and care for one another. We will get through this together. Please know that the entire Seattle Public Schools family is here to support you. Please take care of yourself and your family we miss you and we can't wait to be reunited with you in our school communities.